Hey guys, it's Tracy here. Today I'm going to be using my alleyway stamps along with some Copic markers and even a little bit of pattern paper. So I'm going to start by stamping this mason jar from the Buggin' Out set on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock and I stamped that with Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And then I'm going to take the little star and stamp that five or six times um, right above it. Um, those are going to be my cookies that go in the jar. Alright, now I'm going to color those in with my Copic markers. So I'm going to first heat them with my heat tool just to make sure that all of the ink is dried. And then I can start coloring with my markers. So I'm going to start with the outline kind of of the star with my E31. It's a light um, brown color. And I'm just going to color each of those star parts in. And then I'm just going to show you how I'm coloring in with the, the I'm going to call this like the frosting part. I'm using an RV11, which is a light pink. Alright, and then I'll use the next darkest color, which is the RV13. And I'll just go around each of the edges um, of the stars, kind of to create a little bit of depth to them. Alright, and then I will go back once more with my RV11 just to blend both of those colors together a little bit. Alright, so now it's time to fussy cut my images out. And I'll kind of speed through this um, just because it'll take me longer to cut the stars out. But I am just going to cut the mason jar out and I'm going to leave a white border around the edge. And then when I cut the stars out, I'm going to cut them right to the stamped line. Alright, so now I'm going to use my zig pen just to adhere the stars down into the jar. You could use any adhesive, you just want to make sure that it's strong enough because I'm overlapping um, some of the images. So you just want them to be strong enough to actually stick and not pop off the card. Alright, so now that my jar is finished, it's time to work on my card base. I'm going to use a piece of craft cardstock. This is going to be just an A2 size card base. And I'm going to emboss the front part of it with the plaid background embossing folder from Doris. And I'm just going to run that right through my cuddle bug. Alright, once I got that embossed, I can just take it right out, and it's this awesome plaid um, background that we're going to have. And I'm just going to score that one more time to make sure that it's really scored. And now I'm going to use a little bit of pattern paper. This is from My Mind's Eye. And I just want to make sure that it matches my... Um, cookies in the jar so it's a pink floral print and I was kind of deciding between that and a pink polka dot but I ended up going with the pink floral print so then I'm just gonna cut each end so that it's the banner it's the little fishtail banner and then I'll go ahead and adhere that right onto my card base And I'm going to tie a little bit of this pink twine from the twinery. It's called Blossom. It's the light pink one. And I'm going to tie it in a knot right there. And then I'm going to wait because I'm going to make a little tag to put on the top. And that's where my sentiment is going to go. 
I'm going to use the spotted stamp set to stamp the high image and my camera stopped recording at that point but I just cut a little fishtail banner from a piece of white cardstock and then stamped my sentiment on there with tuxedo black memento ink. Now I'm going to use 3D foam squares to attach my mason jar to the card. I have three bigger ones on the bottom and then two small little adhesive squares. And then I'm going to use my clear Wink of Stella pen just to apply a little bit of glitter to each of the cookies in the jar. And then one last step is to use my corner chomper to round each of the bottom corners. And that is my finished card. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you get all the latest videos. You can also check out these three videos that I have linked for you below. I'll see you next time. Bye!